Hi friends, welcome back to Scratch Skills. In today's video, we will be learning how we can use the lists in Scratch. Now, it's a pretty hard thing to go through the variable list and my blocks in Scratch. That's why I've made tutorials for all these three things. And in this tutorial, we'll be learning about the list. So let's get moving. So this is how the list making block lo looks. There's no special category for the list. It The list is located in the variables category itself. So if you go to the variables category from first, it will be set on motion. From there, you can click on the orange variable category. Over here, if you look down, then you'll find a make a list. Now, when you click that, you can name your new list. So, I'm going to name mine names. And I'm sure that after I make this tutorial or after you go through this tutorial, you'll find it very useful and easy to use lists. So, make sure to watch to the end. So, now I've got my block over there that's how we can see whether it is there or not we can widen it or shorten it i think i'm going to widen it a bit like this much yes now when you make a list you'll find some more blocks like these add thing to names delete one of names delete all of names insert thing at one of names and so on the main block we'll be using today over here will be add. So first we'll need a when green flag clicked block. Over here we can go to the sensing and ask what is your name. And then we want to add the answer of our question to names. Now, I know this is very simple. It's just a code of four blocks. But truly, that's all you need to make a list. So, when I click the green flag, it adds my name. So, I'm going to type in my name. And then I click enter. And there it is. Now, to not restart the project every time, I'm just going to run space key. You can give others name like this also. John etc Kylie like these there can be many names given so I can keep on giving names over here like this so now I have four names now we can go over here and if we take delete I'm just gonna keep this aside for now delete Two. The, the keyword 2 is given to John over here. So delete 2 of names. So then if I click the green flag, 2 of the names would be deleted. Just like this. 2. Because uh, Anahana, that's my name, won't be deleted because the number it has is 1. So we covered that block. We covered this block and now going to the next insert one insert thing now we can add over here insert answer at one of the names now what this does it it asks my name so i'm just going to write in a random name and then that goes at the first position once more i can give another example to make it clear jack so jack goes at the first position now if i want them to go at fifth position then this will happen so i'm going to try um let's name this i don't know what to name her <laughs> okay i'm just going to take a very simple name joe so yeah joe would go at the second position now, why is this happening? Because there is no current number uh, list as 5 over here. So, now if you give it 3, then it will follow this command. Like so, I'm going to write Joe once more. And Joe goes at the third position. Now, instead of using this delete block, 
you can also use the um, when you click on a list over here you can also rename it like um, Gaston from Ben and Harley's Little Kingdom like that so now you can if I don't want Joe over there I'm just gonna cut it out something like this you can do over here so that's the first example I wanted to give you or give to you of the list. Now this is not the only way you can use list. I've got another project where there are a couple of items over here. Now I'm just going to delete all of them. What I've done over here, I I have made a um I've made a list called items. And I've got some sprites over here. And in all the sprites, I have added a common command. That is, when the sprite is clicked, I want to add its name. So now it's the cat sprite. So I'm going to type cat. And then in the balloon, when this is a balloon, apple, basketball, and bell. And the sprite, uh, in any of the sprites, you also want to add another command that is when green flag clicked, we want to delete all items of one. Let's see how this works. Works perfectly fine. Like this, you can use the list in many ways making a shopping center in scratch many more things like this so hope you found, found this video useful do subscribe like and comment for more fun videos like this bye friends